it's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens under the lights on Sunday night. Built on the side of a former piano factory. There's been plenty of music made on the field here in the decade since it opened back in 1998. Welcome, everyone, to M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yep. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience unlikely is going to come away with the win. Tyler Bass to get this one started. And we're off from Baltimore. On the return, here comes Justice Hill. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So the Ravens offense taking over for the first time here. And they're brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game. It's Lamar Jackson. A decade plus before Lamar, it was a guy named Michael Vick who was the standard for dual threat quarterbacks. Well, today, that standard is Lamar Jackson, who at his best is an MVP caliber player and the most exciting player, not just at his position, but in all of football. And don't let that running overshadow the strides he's made as a passer to in the pocket and as a franchise quarterback to build upon. The drive begins with Henry. In the middle holds, they don't get anything on the run. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Oh, looks like the defense got a little too excited there. That's going to be a penalty. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Offense to the line for second down. Lamar now from the gun. Quick hitter complete. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. That's good for seven yards. And that's good for a Ravens first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. So the officials are officially on board tonight. For the first time, a flag flies. Somebody moved early. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump. And, well, they got one of them to move that time. Play action. Here's Jackson. Flushed out of the pocket. He's keeping it. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep them moving forward. All right, here we go. Second down. Out of the gun. Here's Jackson. Connects with Bateman. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Now Jackson on third down. for his first catch of the game. And that leaves them with fourth and five. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. 
He has it at the 13. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So here come the Bills for their opening drive. And leading them out is the seventh-year pro. Seems to be in the MVP conversation every year now. It's Josh Allen. We've seen a lot of big arms come and go in the NFL. Few translate that talent, though, in stardom quite like Josh Allen. It's fun for me on the college football road when I ask these young quarterbacks who they idolize, who they look up to, and just about every big guy that can run says the same thing, Josh Allen, because that skill set is so tantalizing. A player who can rip off a highlight real play with a pass and just as easy with the down in just about any situation. And he's going to be brought down after getting this up to the 22. Solid 40-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Play action now, Allen. Complete the left side to Samuel. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First and 10 now from the 30. From the shotgun, it's Allen. That's man on the end, complete. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done Route 2, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack them, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Looking from the gun, it's Allen. Shakir with the grab. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he could go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, whew, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Tyler Bass on now for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. to return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Now we'll get set to see the Baltimore offense for the second time. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Henry gets it here to start the drive. And they'll surrender just a lone yard. That brings up second down. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. From the gun, Jackson. On the move, headed right. Oh, he lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Bills. Wow, oh wow. He 
sent his offense out twice now, and both times they've fumbled it away. I'm not sure who's more aggravated, the dudes down there or the dude next to me <laughs> up here. Well, I'm aggravated, but I know the guy on the field wants to put the offense in the doghouse. Like, all of them right now. This can't happen in the NFL, Kate. And a lot of guys out there, they got to be looking to one another. Hold each other accountable to hold on to the ball. Here comes the Bills offense for their second drive of the game. And the turnover puts them right back out there. Just a few plays since they scored that touchdown. Well, they didn't get much time to rest, but guess what, Kate? That defense didn't get much time to rest either. Mm. Now you can go in attack mode while they're still shaking off that last touchdown. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. In a good spot here, second and inches. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Rifles it, and it's caught. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Now Allen. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's going to be taken down near the 8-yard line. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. First down from the red zone. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. That's one he knows he should have had. So now it'll be second and goal. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, but then you gotta go finish it. You gotta go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. Quick throw outside complete. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. You know what I love to say? You never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. Cook trying this one up the gun. And he's not going to reach the end zone. And they bring him down at the one. Call it a gain of two that time. It leaves him only a yard away on fourth and goal. This front, well, they've done a good job bending and not breaking. First down, didn't score. Second down, didn't score. And now third and goal can't find the end zone either. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. Man, Brock, that defense held up three straight plays. They just couldn't come up with the one final stop they needed to get off the field. And how about this offense? Courage of the offense to run it back for one more snap and make the adjustments on fourth and goal to finally punch it in. Quite the mini little chess match we just saw play out over those last four plays. Vassa on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead.
Vance now to kick this away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. Now the Ravens all set for another possession. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Bronk. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's Henry on the option. And he found some running room for a nice game. Oh, it's seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. This is Henry on second, and he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? Well, did the exact opposite here, Kate. And that makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. Let's see what they draw up on these third and seven. Lamar off the play fake. Brief moment of full on pink between the ball coming out and him getting back on. The impressive part is he kept his composure while it was still loose. One mistake didn't become two, and he cleaned it up before any defenders could. Here's Jordan Stouts coming on again to punt. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. Got 46 on his first punch, and this one's pushing a little more distance. And that fair catch corralled just beyond the 25-yard line. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Slot man in motion left. First and ten. Here's Allen. And he just hooks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. to the air, Allen. Little off center, his man just couldn't adjust to it. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. They motion a receiver left. Allen on third down. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Bills first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. On first down, Allen. And a play defensively there. Got a hand on it to tip it away. Now makes it second down. I think you're seeing why they like this guy in coverage, man. He reacts well to throws and is so adept in breaking up passes right through contact or before they ever reach the target. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Again, Allen to the air. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. As a defense, you got to see the pass. you got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. 
To the air again, Allen. That's caught for the first. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And that's good for a Bills first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. Man, did he make an impact play. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Allen now on first down. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bowling ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Allen going to throw again. Coleman with the grab. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. And we will not get another play. That's going to do it for the first quarter. It's a two-score game early. Back to the bank in just a moment. We're back for the second quarter. Bills in possession of the football. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Play action now with Allen. First and goal. I don't know about you, Kate, but I think somebody's auditioning for some extra work as a receiver. If he could do that coming out of the backfield, imagine the damage he could do if they sent him out into one of those spots out wide. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Shotgun hit. Hey, listen, inside the five-yard line, that ball needs to be welded to your body at times. Under no circumstances can it come free. Whether someone puts a helmet on it or not, there's players ripping at it from both sides. Baltimore running its offense out now. And coming off a three and out, Brock, they really need to build some momentum from the ground as they try to get on that scoreboard here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Here's a give. Fullback headed up the gut. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Good defense tackles in this league, Kate. They can take up a couple blockers. Great defense tackles. Well, they stuff the stat sheet just like that, knocking that run backwards before it could get started. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Throwing from near his own goal line. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they'll take him down here right at the eight-yard line. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Looking at a tough spot to punt it away if this third down is unsuccessful. Blitz coming, Lamar. Just kept going. Stern film study, Brock. Some chances to go down, but instead opting to keep extending the play and then all of a sudden in the end zone for a safety. Yeah, ultimately there just comes a time where you've got to understand where you are on the field, right? Hey, I'm trying to make a play. I'm trying to make a play. That's all great in the middle of the field, but when you're in the danger zone like this and you can give that defense two points and energize the other side, you've got to know where you are on the field and just get rid of the ball. So following the safety, Brock, they're on now to begrudgingly send it away with a free kick. 
You get it at the nine. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. They've been leaving him open, and that is something they're going to have to button up in the near future, Brock, considering the type of start this guy is having. Yeah, this running back's making all sorts of friends with his buddies in his offensive huddle. Enemies on the other side, but this kind of production means everybody's going to get to eat today. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Throwing now, following the turnover. He's got it, room to run. And he's brought down after a short game. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. And one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. They'll try the right side with Cook. He's still looking for the play that spikes the ground game as that one stop for a loss. Kid, I'll never forget walking into the Hall of Famer Dwight Freeney's meeting room with those defensive linemen. The late great John Tierlink, his coach, he had a little sign up in his, in his office and it was sacks and that money sign was the S because ends and D linemen make their money with sacks. But you win games when they stop the run like that for a tackle for loss. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. How about that play, Brock? On third and 14, they find a way to convert. You know, they call that the money down for a reason because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Got him in over the middle, complete. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Here's second and two. Complete to Shakir. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's again at 27 yards to move the chains. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Motioning the tight end now. To throw again, it's Allen. Connects with Cook. And he's sure the first after a mild game. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second and six coming up here. And motioning him from the slot right. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. No gain on the play, and it brings up third and seven. You know, when receivers have room to operate, that's a play that can totally gash a defense. But can't when you get down here in the red zone, it becomes so much tougher because you have a whole lot less space. And in fact, you'll see defenses swarm like that one just did. Has it in close. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, and you can make a play in the open field. Keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that one was beautifully struck. It goes right down the middle. Well, that's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. Next, 
Bass now to kick this away. That's going to be taken in at the 8. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden Ratings Hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call, 1-844-MADDEN-1, and make your case for who should get a boost. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Give to Henry on the inside handoff. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Hey, look, any run of this size is going to wound the defense. But you get this game going right up the heart of their defense, you start to break their will and break their pride. Only took him one play, partner, and they've already made it to that 40-yard line. First and ten, here's Jackson. And he goes down, the Bills get to him! And the big play drives them backwards, second down coming up. Well into this first half, still struggling to find any rhythm, and that's what sacks do. That is why these defenders get paid big money when they get those sacks in the stat column, because as you're seeing today, it totally disrupts the rhythm, the continuity, and any success for an offense. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Another try following the sack. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Tough one to retain through that hit. So they're left facing third and long. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Jackson now, third and long. To left sideline, complete. So a timely moment for a big play, and they get the first on third and 19. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Back to throw. Here's Jackson. He'll get this to Henry. And this one doesn't go far. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting to gain just a few yards. You call it, expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it, to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Out of the gun, Henry. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Only a couple of yards there, and now it's third and seven. Okay, hey, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it will largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Motion man is the tight end here, going left. Jackson now on third. Short pass caught by his tight end. A small game. You get to that money down, that third down, you look to your money players, and this tight end is capable of it. Let's give some credit to the defense right there. Did an amazing job, not only sticking to him, but bringing him down before he can move the chains. Staring at fourth down, the Ravens will go with Justin Tucker to try for three. From the right hash, 55 yards out. He was hitting from that distance pregame. Heck, we were on the field watching it, and they were confident he could do so again. Just did not work out this time around. The Bills and quarterback Josh Allen are ready to get back to work now on offense. All right. 
right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Connection on the slant. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. An excellent gain, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. You know, Kate, years ago, my old high school receiver and I got together for a football camp. I could still close my eyes and throw him that slant. We've done it millions of times. You get a QB receiver connection like that, it's dynamite. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. That brings us to the two-minute warning at the Inner Harbor. The Bills looking for a bigger lead before the break. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Throwing deep for the end zone. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Allen to throw. This is reeled in by Valdez Scantley. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. That's a pickup of nine. And that's good for a Bills first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Now Allen. Pass complete to Cook. And he's tackled for a short game. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second down now, seven to go. Allen going to throw again. The screen set up for the running back. And he gets them down to the nine before going out. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. First down from the red zone. Connects with Johnson. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. shooters in the NBA. Sometimes they're just going to miss. You've got to shake it off and keep on firing. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third goal. Again, Allen to the air. And down he goes. The Ravens defense gets it done. Are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. This is going to be a 31 yarder from the right half. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that will add to their score. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm than start a game two for two as a kicker. Yeah. 
Bass now to kick this away. Returning it from the four. This return makes it up to the 25. The Ravens taking over now on offense. Minimal time remaining in the half. And losing by three scores, they'll have a final chance to take at least three off the deficit before halftime. Just over 30 seconds left in the half as they come to the line. They go play fake with Jackson. He's got it, room to run. And they're gonna bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Now we're gonna have a timeout taken by Baltimore. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. Got a man open across the field, complete. And he's gonna be brought down after reaching the 43. The drive picks up here, first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. Catches made down the right sideline. And he goes out approaching that 10 yard line. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play as well as a new set of downs. That makes a good player. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. What a spot for a big play, huh, Brock? It has him well into the red zone now with first and ten. From the red zone now. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Lamar, throw it again. And the cover just too good there. Tip behind the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. That was a situation where he got the time in the pocket he needed. There just wasn't anyone open to throw it to. It got to the point he had two choices as that clock is going off in his head. Force a throw and risk a pick, or just get rid of it and cut your losses on the play. So fortunate to have another shot down here after the near pick. Ravens call it on Justin Tucker for the field goal. A very short kick here from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills leading. Now we'll send you south to Orlando for a check-in around the league via Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far. But there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Return coming from the six. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. 
The Bills are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. Hey, you go into halftime with a double-digit lead, your number one objective, and they'll all say it in that locker room, it's 0-0 to begin the second half. So you want to come out firing the same way you did in that first half. And that kick returner, he took matters in his own hands. They've got first down from the 31. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That one hits for 30. And that's good for a Bills first down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. Straight ahead, here's Cook. Nice cut back to the right sideline. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right? they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger. But that back remains hungry. And he maneuvers through the middle for a game of four. You know, Kate, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. It right? doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet. But A, it gets you good yardage. B, it sets up your play action. And C, most importantly, keeps that defense guessing. Second and six coming up here. Allen looking to throw. That one's complete right side. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. Allen. This one's caught. And he drives this forward to the six. You know, you compare and contrast stats over the decades, Kate, one thing you see is the completion percentages are through the roof. In this day and age, compared to the 60s and the 70s, a big reason is just completions like that. Utilizing every one of your eligible receivers that time, running back in the flat. This is Cook on the handoff. And he won't challenge for the goal line to stop made at the floor. Give him only a couple that time. It's going to be third down. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Allen on third and short. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo! The Bills grow the lead coming out of halftime. Keon Coleman, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Well, as they drive forward to what right now looks like it should be a win, Brock. He sure is taking advantage of a nice little chance to boost his stat line. His second touchdown of the game. Yeah, you just kind of feel these two building some trust, right? Just more and more equity. Certainly paying dividends in this one, but more than likely for more games to come. Bass on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. 
Here's a return from the seven. His return gets him to the 32-yard line before he's taken down. We see the Ravens making their way out now. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Tight end in motion right. Third quarter starts with a run from Henry. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. A humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain, not a game changing play by any means, but one that keeps you on schedule and take some of the starch out of that front seven. From the 37. And that catch is made down the right sideline. Great effort there. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play as well as a new set of downs. The best offense is in the league, and I don't really care what level it is, Kate. They stretch you vertically, and they'll stretch you horizontally. You show them that same look and just push the ball vertical, they'll catch on to it. But you start to mix and match and run these guys across the field, you become dangerous. First down, here's Lamar. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. Some backs are easier to tackle than others. Some, well, they just choose violence. They look for those opportunities to bust through tackles and keep those legs pumping. Third and a lone yard coming up. Lamar now from the gun. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. They send a tight end in motion. They'll run here with Henry. And he drives forward for a little, maybe to the seventh. It's a gain of two on the play. Still some work to do on second and goal. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe. You push a little closer. And now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. Shotgun snap to Jackson. Escapes the pocket. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens start the second half with some needed points. It's a Lamar Jackson touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain, he did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down, and when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard.
Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. He fields it from the eight. He stopped on the return at the 27. Buffalo sending its offense to the field. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. I mean, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Now well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's Cook. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Only a couple yards there, and now it's third and seven. Working from the gun, it's Allen. He has the first over the middle. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Shakir sent in motion left. And he came up with a gain of three on the run up the middle. This is one of those real modest gains, Kate, that I like as a call. Yeah, it's just a little more variety to your playbook. Makes that defense wonder. Those guys on the other side of the ball think a little bit. This dude's not just a receiver. He may get in the run game as well. Second down now, seven to go. They'll run it with Cook. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. Give him eight yards on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down, but instead they move the chains. And that is one disheartening look on that defense. First down throw for Allen. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open and beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Now it's Cook. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. Incomplete. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. So on fourth down, on comes Sam Martin to handle the punt for the Bills. And no chance at a return. He wisely angled it for the sideline and got it down to the 12 before going out. Now Baltimore returning its offense to the field of play. 
They're running out of time to get this game into a more manageable spot, Brock. We've got a three-score deficit, and we're in quarter number three. They're out and set. First and ten. Lamar back to throw. He finds Aguilar. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. Offense to the line for second down. They send him left out of the slot. Trying down the middle with Henry. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This offense may want to try and disguise their run a little bit. I don't know if it's the old lineman's stance. I don't know if it's a cadence. I don't know what it is. But after two straight plays going backwards, this defense is all over them. Defense with an excellent opportunity and a stop here on third down. situations where it's just a double whammy number one you can't afford to give up a possession and waste a possession like that and number two to do it so quickly a three and out in that situation it really listen if there is a path to a comeback and that's a big if right now it's going to take sustained drives and a three and out just devastating on that possession baltimore lined up in punt formation jordan stouts the one to send it away and he finally gets a hold of one here. This is it far. He'll take it in short of midfield. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Bills ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. and 10 from the 41. Here's a give to Cook. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and 10. the end of the third on Sunday night. It's not quite over yet, but it'd take a pretty miraculous comeback. We've got a three-score game as we get set to start the fourth quarter. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Again, it's Cook. And this one does not go far. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. Now they'll throw out of the gun. He's on the move. He's running for it. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. Well, Sean McDermott didn't like that call. We can tell he's got the challenge flag out. Well, we all know there can be so little room for air spot in the football. And that's what's being reviewed right here. Did they get this right? And I know both sidelines are furiously pleading their cases about what their eyes see. But fortunately, the eye in the sky and the replays will give us a clear answer. So upon further review, they get a more favorable spot. And that's enough to give them the first down. to throw. 
rifles it, and it's caught. And he takes this one nearly to the red zone before going out. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 23. He's got it to him yet again. That is cut. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And now they have a first and goal. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play. And he runs this one in for the touchdown. The Bills put up even more points in a win. It's a James Cook touchdown. Bass on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. Fielded at the seven. Now bring him down on the return as he gets this to the 33. The Ravens trotting out their offense. And all game, they have struggled to attack this deficit. Maybe they can do a little window dressing here. Ball at the 33 for first down. Now it's Lamar. Into the hands of Likely. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Out of the gun. Here's Jackson. Gets this to Bateman. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainer's heading out to take a look. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. From the gun, Jackson. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Jackson yet again. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. 12 yards on that play, and a good call nets him the first. Move the chains! Got to move their chains, build momentum, and keep that defense on its heels. New slate of downs to approach here from the 40.
On first down, Jackson. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. Now makes it second down. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. And again, it's Jackson. Fires over the middle. Caught. He runs this to the 25 before being brought down. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Play fake, Jackson. Bails out of the pocket quick. Now he takes it. Give him about 16 yards on that game, Brock, and it sets him up with first and goal. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for a QB to inspire the guys around him. Calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. First and goal. They'll try an option to the left. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth cape, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another kid at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. Throwing from the gun here. Andrews with the catch. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. Buckle up. It's third and goal. Now here's Lamar. Escapes the pocket. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. Good pressure from the defense there has them trending in the wrong direction. This defense has been trying like mad to do anything to disrupt the rhythm, get the QB off his spot. It's got to be a massive relief to see their efforts paid off on that play. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. You know, Ken, I don't think I've ever met a defender that cares. All they want to do is get off the field. Doesn't matter if it's a drop pass, deflection, breakup, even an interception. Challenged by the offense to get one more stop to get off the field, and that's exactly what they did. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And into a sea of bodies he goes. Looks like they'll get about three out of it. Second down now, seven to go. Early movement along the right side. The flag comes out. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. They're running the option, short side. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Even five on that play. Now it's going to be third down and six. The difference right there, Kate, between that gain and a big hit for a loss, some really quick decision-making. He made a quick read, saw the running back was going to get hit if he handed it, and he pulls it himself for a positive game. Cook trying this one up the gut. Pick up a zero on the play. That leaves him with fourth and six. Will one defender fail? Well, 
his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. The Bills with a punt team out there. And he's only a handful of yards from his own goal line. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And the Ravens will go on offense. Here's first and ten from the 34. Aguilar, the receiver in motion right. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Connects with Bateman. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Throwing now on first down, it's Jackson. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end because that's your bread and butter. That play actually gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. Shotgun snap to Jackson. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. And that's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. That's the two-minute warning here from Baltimore. Ravens hoping to make it look a little better before time runs out. New set of downs for him at the 38. Again, it's Jackson to the air. Quick hitter complete. Take him down right along the 30. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Jackson's going to throw again. Complete. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. First down throw for Jackson. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens making the scoreboard look a touch better. Mark Andrews with the touchdown. Now, this one has been a long game, no doubt. But, hey, something positive to look back on there. But they didn't quit, Kate. And I know that yeah. sounds a little cliche at this professional level, but it really mm -hmm. is an important thing. This one will still hurt but they showed some execution and fire. Tucker on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. 
His return starts at the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The visitors headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And after a little running, he gets this up to the 32. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign that they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Second and six coming up here. It's a pick up of three. They're going to need three more now on third down. So the Bills fight their way to a win on the road. Well, partner, we spoke earlier about how much of a factor this home crowd was going to be. But even with the added boost from the friendly confines, boom, couldn't will them to the victory. Yeah, sometimes it just is a your game. You're never going to win them all, even at home. But what's important now is learning from this defeat, hitting the film room, hitting the weights, making sure this doesn't happen again. Don't let this loss...